This is Advent Gospel Ministries. Welcome to God's house. Uh, happy Sabbath again one more time. It's good to be in the house of God after a challenging week, so to speak. You're going to see what uh, justice we can do for the time that we have remaining. Give me that song one more time. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face so that the things of earth will go out. Strange redeem in the light of his glory and his grace. Let this be your meditative song. I want when this song is being sung, you clear your mind. So that God can do justice and take over. In Jesus' name. But somebody help me with this one. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Coming back, 
when Abraham, now let me okay, and I will, verse 2, and I will make my what? Covenant between me and thee, and will multiply thee how? Verse 3, and Abraham fell on what? His face. Uh, that, that's, that's something, you know, when you fall on your face, it's something that the Bible is saying there. Yeah. And God talked with him. Saying what? Come on. As for me, behold, my covenant is with me. That means why are you? And thou shall be a what? Of how many nations? Many nations. What you know? Neither shall thy name anymore be called what? But thy name shall be what? Abraham for a father of many nations have I made thee. Yeah. Somebody can just this change my name. Yeah. I, I tried to do that before, but I want to stick on war with, with me. Yeah. Walk with me. Go on to verse 2 there. Don't, don't throw it out here and I will tell you when. Yeah. And I will make my covenant between me and what? Thee. Uh, when God says he's going to make a covenant between you and him, that's because he's saying, I want you to get what? Personal with me. I want you to get how? Closer with me. And I will multiply you how? Exceedingly. If you get closer to Jesus, understand that there is a multiplication of blessing coming your way. What's the verse 3? Verse 3. And Abraham, and Abraham yes. did what? For the space after God talked with him. Yes. Oh, listen to me. After God talked with him, Abraham didn't just get up and go. Sometimes when God talked to us, we pay him no mind. When God gave us the job we have been asking for, we pay him no mind. When God gives us a husband, we have been looking for, we pay him no mind. Sometimes it's just good to acknowledge God when he says, I will bless thee. And so the Bible says, Abraham, not Abraham, but Abraham fell on his face. That means to say he prostrated himself. I'm going to change your name. 
for a name change. Mm. Are you with me, somebody? Yes. God, I know who I used to be. More so, God, I know who I am. But if you work with me, yes. I know that you can change yes. my name. Yes. Change me, Master Jesus. Yes. Change me, Lord. I know my name. Yes. I, I know my culture. Mm. I know my temperament. Mm. I know my character. I don't need my neighbor to tell me. I don't need my friends to tell me. I know who I am. Guess what, friends? We cannot hide from Jesus. Mm. There's a saying goes, you can run, but you can't hide. You can run, but you can what? Hide. We used to play something called Banu, what is it? Banu, they call it. Hide and seek. And then they had to check how much one to what? Ten. And then we have to come look in, and you're going to try. You don't want the, the, the person who just checked to catch you. But guess what? There are times you will be what? Caught. Yes. You cannot play hide and seek with Jesus. He knows me. He knows you. Yes. And sometimes all we have to do is to ask him for a name change. Oh. Oh. Well, he changed Abraham, Abraham to Abraham, mm -hmm. father of a multitude. Yes. Abraham was born in Ur of the Chaldees yes. and died in Hebron of Canaan. Mm. Listen to me. Mm. He was the father of eight sons. Mm. How many? Eight. Here it is. Here it is. You all think you're alive? Mm. With three women. Mm. You all think you're alive? Wow. 
tried. I failed. I tried. I failed. I tried. I failed. I tried. I failed. I believe the time is running out, but with Jesus. Amen. When you think God, or when you think it's all over, God is saying, I am now starting with you. Don't talk to yourself when God is saying, I am not finished with you as yet. Just walk with me. Notice that God did not say to Abraham, I will walk with you. He said to Abraham, you walk with me. God did not say, I will walk with you. He said, you walk with me. There's a song that says, I will follow thee, my Savior. Thou didst shed thy blood for me. Yes. 
Get me again? This lamb like beast place that we are living in. I want to get to Willie Kevin. Where do you see the country is backing someone who don't care anything? And you recognize that someone who have 34 cars. And the country is still saying we are willing to allow him to rule. I am saying prepare yourself. Yes. I cannot tell you that God is going to come tomorrow. I don't have that privilege. I am not Harold Campbell. But I can tell you, you need to get yourself ready because there is coming a time when God is going to say move. What I am telling you to do is to walk with him. Work with him. Talk with him. Hold his hand. Because he is not finished with you yet. Where will you go, God? I will follow. Yes, my Lord. I'll follow thee. Yes, Master Jesus. What's what? What verse 7? Go to verse 7 of, of, of that same chapter. Go to that. I'm moving on. I'm trying to move fast. This is so many. I try, I try to come. And the Lord appeared again unto Abraham and said, What? Yeah. Unto thy what? I will give what? Yeah. This land. Let me put on the second act. And there built he a what? An altar unto the Lord. And here and here and here and here. An altar signifies the presence of God. I'm talking to someone. Wake up someone. Shake up someone. I said an altar signifies the what? The presence of God. When, when, when Abel built himself an altar, God did what? He came down and he lit it up. When Elijah on Mount Carmel built himself an altar, God came and he did what? He lit it up. Walk with him somebody. An altar signifies the presence of God. Therefore, anytime an altar was built, it shows that God's presence was there or resides there. Therefore, 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 come on, build an, build an altar in your home. Amen. Amen. Yes. Find a place yes, where you and Jesus can talk. Mm. Are you with me? Find a place. I, I, I cannot tell you where it is. If you have to go in the back door where the wife and the children can find you, Sandra, go there. But find a place where you and Jesus can have a conversation. The world is too busy, young okay? Sometimes yeah, there are people that leave the, 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 the 86 year old man on the news, Ella Peter. Left his house to go to the shop. Mm. Did he have an altar in his house? Mm. Mm. Huh? He didn't reach back home. Mm. The young girl that wanted to get into a fight mm. pulled a bottle in Kanasi. Is Kanasi was there? She pulled the bottle to stab the next girl. Fell, broke the bottle, and killed her own self. Oh. Did she have an altar? In her house, mm. huh? Did she knew? Did she know that she wasn't coming back home, mm. huh? Mm. Huh? Mm. But she planned to go back home. Yes. Are you with me? There are many people that left the house with a plan, yes. but the plan wasn't executed. Okay. Did they dead build, build an altar in their home? I am suggesting to us, to you and I, that it is. Proper, it is wise to build an altar in your home so that in the morning when you get up, you can talk to Master Jesus and say, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to what? Lie down in He leadeth me beside us. He restored. Yeah, do I walk to the valley of the shadow? Walk with Jesus. Thy rod and thy staff, they do what? 
have to study what man is going to give you. When you are blessed with Jesus, you are blessed. You are well blessed. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my back runneth over. Surely! But I'm the truth, we don't like the whole package, but I'm 
much pain in my face. I'm saying, Father God, this is who I am. That makes sense that I, I try to lie to you. You still want to Yes! You still want me, Jesus? Sure. I, I know I have a too long time, you know, God, but I, I still put my little cigarette now and then. You still want me? This is sometimes we don't want to be real with Jesus. But if, if we can be a little real with Jesus, and He can, he can take us for who we are, then He said, I, I can work with you better. Because I know you are not hiding. Yeah. Adam was hiding in the dark, but not hiding. Where you are, where you are, I have yeah. I'm not perfect. I don't know about you. Mm -hmm. Oh, we are very. Oh my goodness! I'm wrapping it up now. I'm wrapping it up. And so, he, Jacob's name was changed. Simon's name was changed to Peter. Sarai's name was changed to Sarah. Saul! You all know Saul. You all know Saul. Who was walking on the road to what? The same Saul that persecuted God. His name was changed. So God can change Saul. I said if God can change Saul, he can change anyone. Yes. Understand this. Mm -hmm. And I'm closing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When he calls you out, mm -hmm. sometimes everything will not be positioned right. Mm -hmm. Jacob was still a supplanter. Yeah. Simon was still a jostler. No, no. Sarah was still laughing at the words from the mouth of God. Yeah. And Saul was still on his way to persecute God's people. But if God told you, don't worry about where you are. Listen to the voice. Because God can call you from anywhere. He can call you from in the party. And there are testimonies about that. Are you with me? He can call you from, and I'm using this word, in the wrong shop. Because there are people that can testify about that. Yes. He can call you when you're on your deathbed. Yes, and there are people mm -hmm. who can talk about that. Mm -hmm. yes. God doesn't concern where you are. Mm -hmm. He wants to know if you will accept him. Yeah. He wants to know if you will walk with him. He wants to know, are you, are you, are you going to follow me still? Understand it's going to be challenging. The mountains is going to be a little rough at times. It's going to be steep at times. Are you still ready? Are you still ready? There are times you will be like going to church. Are you still willing? There are times you will feel like you're turning your tides. Are you still willing? There are times you will wonder if I am still there. Are you still willing? God said, if you walk with me, I'm going to bless you. But well, not just I'm going to bless you, I'm going to multiply what you have. I said, mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. God will have a little, a little, a little, a little, a little pretense in the bank. Well, walk with me. Yeah. I, 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 can, I can deal with that. Don't worry about what platinum is giving me. <laughs> I, I will deal with that. But are you willing to walk with God? Yeah. Sometimes it's going to be challenging. Are you still willing to walk with God? Yeah. His grace is so amazing. 
that despite who you are, His grace is still amazing. Amen. And to cut this long story short in righteousness, mm -hmm. if you are willing to walk with Master Jesus, yeah. then let, let's sing that song, Amazing Grace, oh, okay. 108. How sweet the song that same, listen to it, 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 that same song. Like who? Like who? And then you are not no better than me, and I am not no better than you. We are all what? Wretched, poor, black, naked. We all still need Jesus. Amazing grace, stand with me. Let's talk with Master Jesus to this song. Come on. I want somebody who don't know how to sing to sing. Because they say, you better win this out for you, Sister Miriam. Tell, tell Sister Sandra, don't listen to me. Tell Sister Sandra, you see right now, don't listen to me. Sing for yourself. Because I'm going to sing for myself. Andre, you sing for yourself, Amazing grace. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound. Hey! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.